Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add mixed numbers with regrouping. Let's jump into our example where we have 10 and a half plus 8 and 4 fifths. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this problem vertically, lining up the fractions and whole numbers. So let's come to the side here and we have 10 and a half plus 8 and 4 fifths. So when we add mixed numbers, we can add the fractional part of the mixed numbers and then add the whole numbers. So let's do 1 half plus 4 fifths first. Now we can't add quite yet because we do not have a common denominator. So we need to find one between 2 and 5. Now we find the least common denominator by finding the least common multiple between 2 and 5. You may be able to think what that least common multiple is without writing out the multiples, but as a refresher, I'm going to come to the side and write out some multiples of 2 and 5, and we'll look for the least common multiple. So 2 and 5 here. Now multiples go on forever, so my suggestion, write four or five multiples of each number, see if you have any in common, and then you can go from there. If you need to extend your lists, that's fine. So let's start with two, and we'll write out the first four multiples of two. So two, four, six, eight. Then we can write out four multiples of five, so five, ten, 15, 20. Check to see if we have any in common. At this point, we do not. So let's extend our list of multiples for two. So after eight, we have 10. And now we have something in common. We have 10 and 10 here. So that's the least common multiple between two and five. Therefore, the least common denominator for two and five. So what we need to do now, we need to rename our fractional part of these mixed numbers so they have that common denominator of 10. Then we can add. So let's start with 10 and a half. So this is going to equal 10. We don't need to do anything with the whole number. That stays the same. We're just renaming the fractional part. So our denominator is going to be 10. So let's use equivalent fractions here to rename. So we need to think, how do we get two to equal 10? Well, two times five equals 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent. So one times five equals five. 10 and 5 tenths is equivalent to 10 and a half, but now we have that common denominator of 10. Let's rename eight and four fifths. So that equals Remember, don't do anything with the whole number. Eight and how many tenths? We can bring our addition sign over as well. So let's use equivalent fractions. How do we get five to equal 10? Well, five times two is 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So four times two is eight. Eight and eight tenths is equivalent to eight and four fifths. But now we have that common denominator of 10 and we are ready to add. So let's add the fractional parts of these mixed numbers. So five tenths plus eight tenths. Five plus eight, that gives us 13. And we have a denominator of 10. Now we can add our whole numbers. So 10 plus eight, that gives us 18. So our answer is 18 and 13 tenths, but 13 tenths is an improper fraction. So that's greater than a whole. So we want to regroup or take out that whole and give it to the 18, so to speak. We're going to regroup it with the whole number. So let's convert that improper fraction, 13 tenths, to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of 10 out of 13? Well, one whole group of 10 out of 13. We do not hit 13 exactly. We have three left over, and we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So 13 tenths is equivalent to one and three tenths, 
we're taking out that hole. We are regrouping that hole. So what we can do now, we can think of it as 18 plus 1. We are regrouping that one hole with the whole number of 18. So that's going to give us 19 holes now. And our fractional part is 3 tenths. So our regrouped answer and final answer is 19 and 3 tenths. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. 3 tenths is in simplest form. The only common factor between 3 and 10 is 1. So we are done. 19 and 3 tenths. And just to recap here, we had an improper fraction when we added our fractional parts of the mixed numbers. So we converted that to a mixed number and regrouped the whole number with our 18. So that gave us a total of 19 holes. And then we had a fractional part of 3 tenths left over, giving us a final answer of 19 and 3 tenths. So there you have it. There's how you add mixed numbers with regrouping. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.